Is this live now? Yes, it's okay. live. Hello, Hello, everybody. Hello, we've just sorted Hello. out. Um, I'll just share, share some of my pages while you're doing that. Right, so if you look over here to your right, all of that's going to be um, okay. Twitch, YouTube, and yeah. Um, yeah. Hi guys, how are you doing? Hello, I'll be with you in a second, I'm just sharing it to my pages. If everyone can give it a share. Oh, there you are. Give it a share. Cheers, guys. So, yeah, we are gathered here today. Oh, hello, <laughs> Connell. <laughs> Maybe to start. We're gathered here today to um, answer a few of your questions about Guy's new album. He's doing um, his second album now, difficult second album. Yeah. Um, sign language. Not <laughs> Alien on Earth. I just thought think that. Well, Alien on Earth is part of it. It's a, for people who missed out on the the first run of Alien, Alien on Earth, then there's an opportunity to get to get that again. Hi yeah. everyone. So there's gonna we're here to answer your questions. What guy is? I, I'm just babysitting. I just need to do one more share. Okay. So. How are you all doing? Hello to Stewie. Hello Adam, Andrew. Hello Frankie. I'm going to be going live after this as well. I've been feeling really bad all week. I've been feeling a bit sicky. Blah. Under the weather. Hello Tyler, Aaron. So yeah, so have you got any questions already that you wanted to answer or you just wait? Um, no, no, this is this is this is an opportunity. I mean, I, I feel like I've addressed a lot of the stuff already in my Kickstarter video. So if there's anything that anyone wants me to delve into, I mean, I, I released a statement about the merchandise today, which you know is pretty self-explanatory. Um, the merchandise was a last-minute addition to the Kickstarter, and um, I've never done merchandise before, so like it was a case of recognizing that this might not be as simple as a case of just having a supplier doing it and, a, and, and it being sent out to people. I, I envisioned there being more problems and I didn't want that to um, compromise my Kickstarter project when the last uh, Kickstarter project was all in my hands, so if there, was, if there was any problems with it, it was all my doing, and that's what I want it to be like. So I'm, that's why I, want, I, I decided to keep the merchandise separate from the Kickstarter projects because um, I've got a reputation with, with this Kickstarter stuff and I want to uphold it because I have high standards. So, um, so yeah, so the merchandise um, hopefully will be available at a later date from like a, an online shop, um, and that just gives me as much time as I need to sort out the the, um, the issues that, that I was talking about. It's just it's just um, a little bit of quality control, that's all. And um, yeah, so I just want to make sure that I deliver you guys, you know, the best the best of that I can. So cool. Have you had any questions yet? Let's just see. We need to scroll down. Oh, do we? Yeah, it, it should pick up again. Cool. Avanash says, can't believe you two have been around for years and you still look so young. <laughs> yeah! And okay. some, of, some of us don't need makeup. <laughs> yeah, that's why we were late, by the way. I've been messing around with my new Jeffree Star makeup. <laughs> yeah, I completely agree, Frankie. That's what that's what I thought at the end of the day. Like, I didn't need merchandise on the last um, Kickstarter project. Um, it was mainly just, I was just putting it on because I know I've had a lot of demand for the merchandise and I thought it'd be really cool. You know, the mock-ups looked brilliant, so I was really excited for them. But when I got um, a couple of the pictures today, there was just there was just, there was was just just problems with, with um, it needed to be addressed. And I um, couldn't address them straight away because my Kickstarter project is in review at the moment, which they do to every project, and it takes like three days. So like, you know, within, you know, it's supposed to be going live on Friday. So if I'm chopping and changing things, constantly with the merchandise it, it's going to take forever for it to be live and i just didn't want to it's just i just envisioned headaches do you know what i mean so um so yeah just kept it simple it's pretty much the same as the last kickstarter project now only with the addition of um the, the um getting a guyver remix and um if you want the alien on earth um second pressing then you can add that to it as well so so for someone who's not heard your uh, first album and is interested in getting both of these albums yeah how similar or dissimilar are both albums to your original sound that they will know you for um well 
I said on the original video, um, the Kickstarter video, I said that it's going to follow a similar theme to Alien, Alien, Alien on Earth. Um, however, it'll, it'll, I'm going to allow myself a little bit more room for expre like expressing myself in different ways. Um, you know, the Alien on Earth album was, um, it was important for me to be very consistent with my guy with sound, and I'll always be like that. But um, for instance, on on this next album. Um, I might be putting some Kronos stuff, Kronos stuff on, on the end, you know, just to like change things up a little bit, you know, because um, I know everyone loves my Kronos stuff. I love my Kronos stuff and um, there could be like, you know, a, a sound that I can create with my Kronos stuff, which melds a bit more into MacGyver stuff rather than being completely separate things. So, you know, because it's all, it's all sort of tied in anyway, you know, Kronos is... If you th if you know about lore and stuff like that, L O R E, like the backstory behind things, Giver was uh, you know like a, a bio weapon produced by the Kronos Corporation. So uh, you know if if I can sort of tie things in like that, that, that you know it'd be a cool thing to do. And you know it'd be cool to try out some you know some um, some I don't know some more experimental stuff on this album. I really don't know. Like I don't know until I've tried stuff in the studio. So. All, all I can guarantee that is, like the Alien on Earth album, I won't be um, sending it out until I'm absolutely ha happy that it's going to, you know, impress you all. Yeah, she says that I totally missed Alien on Earth, and although I'm excited about sign language, as long as I can get A O E, see, they even got it A O E. Yeah, I'll be yeah. uber <laughs> chuffed. Yeah, it's an amazing album. It's one of those albums. A lot of people have said that they have to listen to it from start to finish. Yeah, well, it, it, it is, you know, and that's that's a similar thing that I will be doing with sign language, like, because that that's been the most enjoyable part about making these albums is cohesively tying in these tracks from start to end, and it and it, and it deviating, you know, in different ways and telling it, its own story, but while still remaining true to you, you know, my sound, and um, so that's what you know I'll be trying, I'll be trying to you know maintain that sort of effect with with the new album. Mike Elliott said, "My 16-year-old son is converted to hard trance by you, you effing legend." Oh, I, I, I think I remember you posted about that, Mike. I think you posted a picture of him, and you said that he was well into it. So that's brilliant. If you know, if I can inspire the next generation, you know, he needs to get him a copy of Fruity Loops and get him, get him producing him his own. There you go. <laughs> Frankie Frank says, would you ever have a remix from Amber of one of your songs? I, I have. Yeah. <laughs> she remixed uh, Back to the Old School from uh, from Alien on Earth. And if she wants to remix uh, one of the, the new tracks, you know, when they're finished, then she, she can do. And, uh, I will. Do, one of the great things about if anyone's uh, looking at getting the uh, the projects of just the remix, remix part. So the, right, so the, there, is, um, there is the remix competition uh, bundle, which... Yeah. Um, you'll get the parts for sign language and um, and then some other um, tracks that I'm going to hand pick for because like I've I basically spent a weekend going through all my old Giver projects and I know that there'll be a lot of people that will want to um, remix like things like Flashback or Funky Ass Beats, Ripped Out, you know, Giver Unit. Um, I said on the original video that I wasn't going to include Man on the Moon series sound, but I think I should include them because because. Yeah. Do it. Just for the fact that there'll probably be a lot of people that might just want to, you know, mess about with them tracks, and um, so yeah, so like the last the last remix competition, it was just one track to remix, and it was Alien on Earth. But this time it'll be the title track, sign language uh, to remix for the remix competition, plus some other, you know, uh, old classic Giver stuff, um, and then the 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 winner will be on the um, included on the end end of the album. And if you want, if you want um, the stems for all the tracks. Um, on on um, sign language plus alien on earth like so that's if you just want to mess about with them tracks or just literally just study them you know sometimes it's cool to be able to study the stems of tracks yeah. that you really admire um because i know that's helped me in the past um then that's like a, it's a it's a, a bundle up from that and then i think um a, another one is the fl projects which is you know going a step further well so. anyone will find the stems very helpful in any door that you use as well and going back to what frank asked about me doing a remix the great thing about those stems is you can literally just drop them in you just drop them in your door um i think when i did that back to the old school remix the one thing i couldn't recreate and wouldn't want to try to recreate just yet was the riff so the riff is as it is in the whole, in the in the uh, complete stems, yeah, yeah. Um, as one big piece. 
and the rest of it I built my own remix around it um, but I found that rather helpful but yeah anyone that's uh, an FL studio user this stuff's gonna be revolutionary I know a friend of ours day when he came in he asked if he could look at the project file for serious sound and he was like he had exactly the same response as I did which was what is that it yeah. like, what like where's all of you since yeah yeah well I've, sh I've, sh I've shown everyone that that project now through the video that I put on Facebook um, and yeah it is it, it is crazy to look back at like but you know that it it's a good example of if you get good sounds initially you know your good quality sounds you know that's all you need really um and um, someone's asked will it be on usb yeah yeah there's a usb option so that that's um the the usb option will basically um be there for you know for people like last time people even though you don't really necessarily need to get the usb some people just want the usb because i guess because it's it's part of the collection and then um it's easier for them if they've got usb you know um disc what do you call them usb cd you don't call them usb cdjs do you because usb decks uh media US, just usb now, decks yeah. Yeah, yeah um you've had oh alien on earth is pink floyd's dark side of the moon from michael coward yeah a few people have said that like uh like it's a massive compliment that i guess um you know that, that, that that's all i can say to that it's you know it's for you to say not for me kieran gallagher is in the house how you doing mate all right kieran I spoke to you in years. Years and years. Um, yeah, Day Hills just said, "Yeah, I can't believe it. It was a, it was about serious sound decisions." <laughs> Very good. Very good. So yeah, if anyone's got any more questions for Guy, and um, what what I'll do as well is um, I'll get Amber to update this once we're finished. I'll get Amber to update the information with um, a link to the Kickstarter project because you can't actually look at the Kickstarter project now. It's only a preview, but once you once it goes live, that link will work still. Yeah, we can put the link in there now. If yeah, you, you don't have to put link. it in now because um, I'll have to get it to you. What do you want? To, what can I just message you on Facebook or something? Yeah. Okay, I'll do, do that, that now. now then. Do that now. Um, the other thing we could do if you want is put a browser and point the browser to uh, the Kickstarter so that will just come up on the screen here if you want. Um, no, no, no. Okay. We don't need to do that because. Cool. Um, yeah, a few people want to have the link so if we just pop yeah, the link Yeah, yeah, one in, sec, I'll get it. We'll just get the link now. So yeah, everyone, if you can give this a share as well, that would be massively helpful. Oh, you got 111 people oh, watching wow. it. Yay! Thank you all for, for coming to have a, have a look and ask your questions, or just to have a nursery and see what yeah. everyone else is asking. It's, it's, it is so nice, you know, to think um, five years ago where we both were mentally, career-wise and everything, and how we built upon that separately and together, and you guys have all been a massive part of that, so thank you. No, absolutely. Um, you know, with the first Kickstarter, um, it was literally like I had nothing to lose um, with that one because it was a case of I was at a bit of a crossroads. Um, it's and mental. And I, th I thought, well, <laughs> this is what I need. If I don't get it, then I'll move on to, you know, doing some other th different things. Um, you know, not that I wanted to, but, um, you know, by having that project backed, it really, really, really was amazing for me to be able to do some guy stuff again and um i took it really seriously i wanted to deliver you know a, br a brilliant product because i wanted to be able to do this again so this is um you know me trying to do it again and uh, you know i'm apprehensive again but that's just me caring about you know the end result and um so yeah i just you know that, that's that's it's all up to you guys for you know because the first projects you didn't know what to expect you know i hadn't done music in years and you all trusted me yeah. so i really appreciate that um i'll just get this link sorry there we go I've got it now. Cool. yeah just send it to me and i'll pop it on here for everyone um, but yeah there's loads of different um tiers and ways that you can support the album from just buying the one new album if you've got the alien on earth one to getting both of them you send it to my facebook yeah yeah it's, it, i might have to send the full the full link because I can't, I can't copy it on there oh really so you might just have to you'll be able to copy it on there won't you yeah so. 
see if anyone else has got any more questions as well. Kevin says, I remember Guy <laughs> in his right brother days all the years ago. <laughs> Salente, I know, apart from he's got this bloody monstrosity on his face. And I'm, I've got grey hairs in my beard now. Yeah, so. he's looking a bit too <laughs> old for me. 36 in a week. And you sent a video there. No, it's a, it's a click on the actual thing okay. and it's status. So the... Oh. So no, it's... scroll down. There's ah, the link there. there we go. Okay, everyone, the link is going to be coming into the chat now for all of you. And that's going to take you to the pre... Yeah, uh, it, it explains it when they're going to it anyway. Cool. Any yeah. sneak clips, any sneak peeks to any clips? The only sneak peek that you can have at the moment is the sign language because that's the only fully formed track that um, I'm happy with people hearing. Like I've got about five other tracks underway, um, but I'm not going to share anything, you know, that um, you know isn't finished because that's stu it's a stupid thing to do. <laughs> you know, the the thing that um, I thought works really well with the Alien on Earth album is not sharing anything, and then people like the like the old days. They received an album and they experienced it from start to finish completely fresh eared. And oh, that right. point, that is a massive thing for people having this emotional reaction to it and seeing it as a journey because they're not they haven't been saturated by listening to it, you know, um, in little bits here and there. They're hearing it fresh fresh eared, all in one go, and their their reaction is a complete pure reaction from it. So um, even though you've all heard sign language, you know, like um, for the other tracks, I won't be. Sh I don't, no, I'm. I'm going to say now, I won't be sharing anything um, of the other tracks because I want to have that same sort of effect. I think there was a big. There's a bit a lot of value in 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 doing doing it that way. It's a very old school way of doing it. No one really does it anymore. I kept the album exclusive, and I'm so grateful that no one decided to share yeah, it yeah, on exactly. YouTube. You know, I've been checking YouTube to see if anyone's like dodgily uploaded a copy of one of the tracks. No one has, and I think that's brilliant. I'm absolutely so happy that that it's ha it's turned out that way because everyone, that means that everyone values what I've done for them. Um, yeah. Where is the stems? I got the CDs on that. I wanted. To, I, you have to be more clear, Jamie. Which what stems are you talking about? On which CD are you talking about? Alien on Earth. Um, I think he's on about Alien on Earth. If yeah. you want the stems from the Alien on Earth album, they'll be available um, as one of the bundles, and you'll also get the stems from the sign language um, album tracks as well. So if you click that link, everything's on that page. Yeah, you'll find everything you need on there. So hello to Jules as well. <coughs> Excuse me. Hello to <laughs> Velos. Velos is in the house. All right, Sam. Yay. Yeah, everyone who uh, has been asking as well, I'll be doing a live stream after this. To uh, Facebook, YouTube, and, and Twitch. I may even throw in a few guy <laughs> tunes. Yeah, I will do. Yeah, definitely. Uh, so yeah, anything else you want to add? I'm trying to think of um, anything that um, that could be clarified. I mean, like I, like I, I clarified a lot of it in the um, in the Kickstarter video. Um, but yeah, I'm just trying to th trying to think of what if if anybody's asked anything. So um, with regards to the studio days, um, someone messaged me the other day and said, "Do they have to be done straight away?" That not at all. They can be done like as soon as like with the last the the last um, Kickstarter. I had studio days, but I specific I specifically said that they won't be able to be done straight away because I hadn't produced for a couple of years. And um, I had to get back into the swing, and all my time and energy had to go into making the album first and foremost. So um, after I'd finished the album, that's when I could chip away at the studio days. Um, but this time, you know, this, if, if someone wants a studio day, then um, I'll be able to do it straight away. You know, I've already got sort of five five tracks underway for this album, so it's not like I'm under so, as as much pressure. So I can, you know, I can um, fit you in as and when you know you want for that. Um, When's it going live? Friday. We all like so. Uh, the, it's, the the project is un, under review at the moment. It usually takes a few days. Um, it's been under review since yesterday. So as long as everything's okay with the project, which it should be, because it's pretty much a carbon copy of the last project with regards to what's available and. You know, it's, they just check these projects just to make sure that, that nothing's violating their terms and conditions. Like no one's trying to, you know, do a dodgy competition or anything like that. 
you know, no OnlyFans account. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> um, <laughs> you can do that. <laughs> so, we, if if everything goes well, then it will be live on Friday. If it isn't um, confirmed, you know, if it hasn't finished the reviewing process by Friday, then I'll update everyone and just say, look, I'm just waiting on the review. But you know, it's a uh, hopefully by Friday if not maybe at the end of the weekend or something but I'll update everyone you know constantly on the process of all that you know as soon as it's live I'll be posting links to it you know as soon as I've got any more information then you know yeah I'll put the link back in there again as well yeah 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 Adam there's a studio day option um, the link that Amber's just posted there will take you to the preview page of the the Kickstarter project and you can check out all the pledge options on the right hand side um, if you're on a, if you're on a mobile, by the way, um, the pledge options might not come up straight away. It'll say um, like it'll say the camp like a campaign tab, and then you have to click the rewards tab to see all the pledges. It's just laid out a bit differently on mobile, so you might not see the pledges straight away. So that's just, just letting you know about that. Cool. Alan, um, you're gonna get serious sounds. What do you mean, like like the, literally? Like the track series sound, what you just want series sounds again? Just, just so just put have a have an album full of different remixes of series sounds. You could do. <laughs> I could do, but I'm not gonna. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at some point we have to move on, don't we? But no, I think I think he means like like are the sounds gonna be serious. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah well, the, the the artwork is provisional at the moment. I, I did the same with with the the last album. If you if you go if you look at the last kickstarter project that i did the the album cover is nothing like what it ended up like um because i like to spend a lot of time on doing the artwork so that was literally you know we have to crack on with getting stuff done when we need to have a deadline and my deadline was approaching so um rather than me farting about with perfecting it knowing it was going to change anyway you know i just sort of got some nice you know nice uh, a nice background put up you know a quick font in there and it's just it's doing the job for now it's provisional so Velos says you got a name for a release date or is it a case of ready when it's ready? Um, so the release date I've put um, well, it's not technically a release date but the date that um, I hope everyone to receive the album um, back I mean so this is how it'll go so if you're if you're getting the sign language album um, which um, if you want the Alien on Earth album you'll need to get that anyway but um, the Alien on Earth album can be re can be sent out pretty much straight away. I'll just have to, you know, um, get them pressed and then I can post them straight away because obviously the album's done. I've, you know, I've done that before, so I can just ask the suppliers to, to do me another another run of them. With the sign language album, um, I'm giving myself about just over a year to finish it. Um, I did this last time, I gave myself a year, I delayed it by six months, so I, it took me 18 months to do the first one. The difference with this one is I've already got five tracks underway. The first, you know, the, the last one, I was doing it from, from scratch, like literally. I hadn't done anything, it was literally like, you know, you know, seeing if I could get batched for it and then going to do it. So, um, it might be done earlier, you know, than, than sort of 15 months. Like, I've, I basically set a, a date of um, Christmas next year, Christmas 2021. Cool. Um, That's good. Um, Sharon Thompson says, "When is Amber going to do a Kickstarter?" Well, I'll probably end up doing my first album probably in about a year, two years' time. Um, I'm currently doing music composition and songwriting with Point Blank Music School at the moment, just refining some of my classical uh, piano skills before I start getting stuck into that. I'm also learning Ableton as well at the moment, as well as use an FL studio, well, I'm fluent in FL studio, uh, but it's always good just to try things out, even if it's just to know, no, I do prefer FL studio, and it's probably looking to be <laughs> that being the case. But yeah, thanks for asking. Uh, my first album, uh, solo album, with me engineering, singing a theme tune, making a theme tune, probably be in about a year to two years. Once he's done his... Yeah, can I just ask, ask, answer a couple of questions yeah, before yeah, I meet him? Michael McGuire, I think it was. Um, he asked about if your if your names are going to be in the album. Um, yes, they will be again. So the first Alien on, the Alien on Earth, on Earth project, all the backers that came through Kickstarter, their names went in the album uh, behind one of the CD covers. Every, and um, it doesn't have to be the name of the account that is purchasing the 
they like basically um whoever um pledges um they will receive like an email with a form to fill in and then in that form you can specify whatever name you want to go in the album so you, you could you know some people dedicated it you know to their partner or whatever or their kid um, so they could get the, you know, the, the, the nice. yeah, yeah. So, That's nice touch. Um, and Alan, uh, Alan Downing, um, they are there's both. So like the first CD is the mixed CD, and then the second disc is a data DVD, a data DVD with um, all the unmixed tracks plus a lot of bonus content. You know, I'm going to be getting some um, exclusive remixes done by um, Gaz West. Has said, you know, that by design, he said he'll do one. I've got um, Les from Lab4, um, I've got him to, you know, do one as, as well. They haven't decided which track they're going to remix yet, but, the, you know, I'm doing like a remix swap for them, so I'm doing remixes for them, and then they're going to do a remix for me, so it's like a, a little deal there. So I'm going to try and get a few more, uh, you know, exclusive remixes by, you know, some cool artists that um, I think everyone will want to hear. Yeah, maybe ask everyone who they'd want to remix stuff as well. Too. Yeah, well, I can't choose too many because it's 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 like it's putting extra work on me as well. So like I'll I'll be um, I'll be choosing more like because like the reason why I chose Gaz and Les initially is because Les was a massive influence on me, um, you know, and I've been in the studio with him last year, so it was someone that I could approach quite easy, easily easily. Um, so I asked him about. Um, you know, doing a remix, and I'm, I've nearly finished my remix for him. I'm not going to mention which track I'm remixing, but I was very happy with the one that I've done. Um, so that should be sort of coming out in the next sort of few months or so. Um, and then same with with Gaz. Like um, when we first started as producers, before we were both signed. Same with um, Technical Alf. Um, we were all was on the same website, Sample City. So we like spoke to each other. You know, before anyone was signed. Before banging tunes. Oh uh, yeah, it was wow. different to the banging tunes. Like a lot more friendly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, we we all met on there, and then I think I was the first one to get signed, um, and then um, Alf and Gaz were very shortly after that. It was all sort of in the same area. So like, you know, Gaz is someone that you know. I wanted to get on board because I know he'd done, he's done a Kickstarter recently, so you know it's it's sort of pick, picking and choosing producers that um, a little bit you know in that sort of similar area, I guess. Cool. I remember Genera Project, yeah, as well. Like, what was that? That was like, um, it's like yeah, it was like a producers thing to upload. You, I can't remember com completely about that, but yeah, I recognise the name. I think it was like like you upload your tracks and then people would review them or whatever, or there'd be like a little chart. Yeah, I right, definitely keeping keeping tracks fresh and not sharing because you know, like even though it's like I tell you what, like it felt so good to be able to um, do the live stream of the Alien on Earth, like because. As a producer, you want as many people as possible to hear your tracks um, to get that feedback. Um, but I definitely did enjoy the process of because it allowed me to craft the album as one big piece. Because the thing is, if if you if you have a track and you give people little clips of it, their feedback can affect the next decisions on that track. Sometimes you just need to take a, to take your own time away from it, come back come back to it, and you know if I if I if I showed you sort of early versions of back to the old school and stuff like that it sounds nothing like what it is now so like you know if, if i'd shared stuff like that online like it, com it completely affected people's like experience of the final product apparently look like an alien now hello i was doing this look oh, man, i know yeah <laughs> oh, right i see i just realized that um, would I consider what Lee Haslam to do with Remix? I don't think Lee um, is, you know, doing like production anymore. Um, you know, it's I've just done. Just the resonates. resonates. Yeah, but that's not what he's, that he's saying. He's talking about doing a remix. Yeah. Plus, I've done loads of work with Lee, um, and you know, I don't think it would fit the album to be honest. Might be a bit awkward as well with him being my ex-husband. Not necessarily, you know, like if 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 I, you know, if I felt like it would fit the album. Thing yeah. is, the thing is, like I engineered a lot of Lee's stuff, so 
Like, it's not like Lee had a specific influence on my production. I'm cho choosing um, um, producers that had a specific influence at an early stage in my career. Um, you know, so so yeah, that's my opinion. What about on Captain that. Tim Red? Would you have someone like that? Um, no, because it's not someone that I'm in contact with. Yeah. Like, I'm choosing people that like I'm not going to re reach out to random people. I think. <gasps> Steve Hill. Should yeah, Steve yeah. Hill. So like people like Steve Hill, you know, hey. you know, like that, that'd be a, a good remix swap idea. Um, Rob Tessera would be a good one. You yes. know, like still in contact with Rob, and you know, I've done, you know, I've had some brilliant, um, you know, time with Rob in the studio. Oh, Dan um, Carson's just put actually maybe a remix with uh, Steve Hill, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, so th th you know, there's there's a good selection of of um, people out there to choose from. So. Yeah, definitely. Oh, that's brilliant. Yeah, thanks for sharing all of this as well, guys. Yeah, thank you. Really appreciate it. Yeah, we both do. Any yeah. chance we could do an album release party in New Zealand? Maybe a remix with Steve Hill too. And um, like. Doing a release party in New Zealand is completely up to a promoter wanting to do that. Um, you know the um, like the album sort of release party that I did for la the last early, early, for the Alien on Earth project luckily coincided with um, Tidy's birthday, so that was the first exclusive sort of play playing of it, even though it wasn't officially um, you know an album release party because it's it's not really released. The album isn't really released. It's sent out to people, but it's not. It's it's actually you know it's not released on a label you know I'm just doing it it's a it's just my personal project. Mm. Cool. So when is the release date? Because it's going to be near to the next side of weekend. Well, it's it? it's an estimated release um, yeah. release. So it's not released release date. It's an estimated delivery date. Delivery date. Um, of Christmas next year, so Christmas 2021. So so um, yeah. So it, it's like. I'm giving myself 18 months again, but I'm hoping that I can get it. So it could it could be finished e earlier rather than later. Like that's because I and because I've got more more of it done initially. Um, Day yeah, Carl Nicholson could be a good one. Yeah. Um, I mean, I don't know Carl personally. I haven't spoken much to him. I know Carl. Um, and I know he does trans stuff. Oh, it, he's it, 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 yeah, it depends whether well. it depends whether it fits what he's doing at the moment because yeah. I know he's moved into doing trance enough it, it might not be wanting to you know do, do it trance, though. Uh, yeah I know I'm just, I'm just saying like that, that I don't know him so I like <laughs> Jules Holland says Santa best be listening yeah, yeah. so yeah um, like the the Kickstarter will be live hopefully from Friday and it'll be live until September the 12th um, and it goes I think it finishes at 11 11 at night mm. so you've got plenty of time to to you know to pledge you know it covers a couple of pay days um, and um, yeah during during that time you know I remember I mean the last the last project um, I noticed there was a little bit of a lull sort of about halfway through the project and that's when I added the studio days. So that's why I've added the studio days in straight away this time and I haven't limited them by number because um, you know, I want to try and maximise, you know, the opportunity, you know, to, to, to get as much backing as I can on this album because um, you know, it would really come in handy, you know. If we could exceed the target, you know, that would that'd be brilliant. But you know, the target's the same as last time, so as long as we get it back, so that's brilliant. Cool. Cool, anything else? Will you be remixing any of your originals or all new? No, I, were, I won't be remixing any of my originals because um, I'm all about delivering new content. You know, that's the point of this. Th th these projects is to be delivering new stuff. What I, what I am doing is trying to maintain a classic feel with the new stuff. It's a hard thing to do, but I think I achieved it quite well with the Alien on Earth album. Um, but um, there is an opportunity for other producers to remix my old stuff and then be, be featured as a bonus track at the end of the album. So, um, so yeah, it's, it's a good opportunity if you're a producer and you've always wanted to remix one of my old tracks and to, you know, to be to be put on the album at the end. 
Um, Jordan Rogers won it last time, did a brilliant remix. He's in the chat uh, as well. Is he's he? Yeah. All right, Jordan. Um, yeah, he did a brilliant remix of um, Alien on Air, um, and it slotted in perfectly. Um, if if anybody's wondering what sort of remixes um, I'm after, literally open to hearing anything, but you probably have more of a chance of being like winning if you consider the, my sound and how it would be how it would fit on the album because you know that's that's how jordan won you know it was between jordan and um i think it was steve smith yeah there um, was two that were really, really like there, were, there was there was jordan's which was it was a little bit more bit, bit bit tougher basically and then the other one was just more trancy and jordan's just slotted in but better but like that's literally what swung it for him um so that's my advice if you wanted to do any remixes someone's mentioned uh, friday vinyl. jamie someone's mentioned vinyl about uh what was the question um about there's the possibility it, of it going on vinyl i don't know like so i'm in talks with someone from germany um who he wants to re he wanted to re-release some of my old stuff on on vinyl and like things like futurism uh Giver unit and things like that um and i've i've said to him would you be up for doing the alien on earth stuff like releasing like an ep of that um so he's i've sent him the album and he's gonna have a listen to it and hopefully like i've never done vinyl before so again like the merchandise it's something i'm a little bit uneasy about getting into because i've had such, such success with the kickstarter before it all being in my own hands when i'm delving into something i'm not familiar with it's a bit a little bit out of my hands and i don't want to disappoint anyone with regards to the end product so i just need to um that you know the the vinyl thing it'll happen when it happens you know as and when you know like i, I looked into doing it there's a, there's a website called q rates um which is like it's basically i think it's a it's a subdivision of kickstart and it's just for like doing vinyl but the um you have to get a minimum amount of people basically and um to to like i think the minimum is like a hundred people like you need to get to to purchase the vinyl and i did some um some polls just to try and get some feedback on whether people and i just didn't get enough interest really um so maybe at some point you know um but like the, this this um lad from germany you know he might be the answer you know just because he's he's he does it anyway so if you know I, I could just license the tracks um you know to him and then he could re-release them basically through through his label so it'd be like a licensing deal chris is in the chat as well Iguast. hey chris how you doing babes thanks for your support chris yeah thank you darling um yeah i think we covered everything yeah what time how long have we been live uh oh nearly two hours uh, two hours, two hours. An, hour. an hour i wouldn't say that we didn't get going till 20, 22 we've been about 40 minutes well, don't ask me then no but i, I was just, just oh, yeah. I <laughs> I don't know. um give it another 10 minutes cool yeah, we'll have another more questions so we've got, we'll, we'll... I'll pop that link back in here as yeah well. yeah keep sharing as well guys to your groups And yeah, yeah Sam, what did you say afterwards. about remixes? Can the album be signed again? Yeah, I can. I can sign uh, the albums again. Yeah, I signed all the albums last time. Um. <clears throat> Will you have some extras? So, like you know, last time when we had a gig. So, uh, yeah. So, um, but uh, you, you don't want to rely on that. So, no. so last time, um, obviously, when you when you do like a a, a, a pressing run of an album you get a select amount and then so last time there was some extras that i sort of um i sold through paypal to people just privately with they message me if i had a copy i wouldn't rely on that option because if you don't back through kickstart it might not even happen it's like so like that's just a case of um if 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 we get this this project back then there will be some um extras you know available but it's it's you don't want to be you know thinking oh well i won't bother backing then i'll just get one of the spares because there might not even be spares if you don't back so if you want one just pledge <laughs> um steve lord says can we still get first yeah yeah project? so the the link doesn't work i'm just checking it now uh, okay
It looks like it works. Yeah, it does work. Yeah, it does work. It's your end, Jamie. <laughs> um, Steve, yeah, you can still get early on Earth. Um, so as long as the, the Kickstarter project is backed um, and it's an add-on, basically. You said about getting other people to do remixes, but are you planning on doing any collabs on there or just solo stuff? Um, I'm planning on just doing solo stuff because it it's my it's my chance to express myself in uh, you know a multitude of ways, and that's what I really enjoyed um, about about doing the last album. Um, but that might change, you know. Like I did I did you know a couple of Riot Brothers tunes on the last album. Um, which you know there might be another Wright Brothers tune on there, so that that'd be a collab. With regards to having another producer on there, I probably wouldn't because it would dilute my ability to showcase another guy with tune in a different way. And that was you know I I think that that was a unique thing about the first album. Martin Sims, my gay security guard, I'll back a 1k if we can go on a date and leave Amber at home with the kids. Yeah, see how desperate I am towards the end of the project, <laughs> Martin. <laughs> Martin, for you, I'll give him a cheat card, don't you worry. <laughs> uh, Ollie, the studio session, would that be more of an engineering thing or a proper collaboration? Um, it could be either, to be honest. I've done, I've done studio dates where... Um, if I feel like that the end pro product is, you know, suitable for um, having my name as part of it, then it could like go out as a versus Giver um, project. That completely depends on what your idea is, and um, you know, it, it literally like that, that's a possibility. I have done that in the past with um, various producers. Um, or it can be, you know, just solo engineering, an engineering a track for you, coupled with if you want to learn a bit of stuff in, in Fruity, I can do that as we're engineering things. I, you know, I do that anywhere. You know, if there's any questions that you have, I, I can show you various, um, you know, things as and when we're going, as as, we're, as and when we're creating the tune. The track that everyone's asking at the moment, what they can hear playing in the background, is Spun. We can't, uh, is it Spun? Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. It. Okay, so just, yeah, this will be perfect time then because we're getting towards the end of the album. Ooh. What BPM? Um, it, I produced it at one five two, I think one five, no, maybe one five five. I don't know, but it's playing faster on the album because we're playing the, the album as the mixed album, so it's probably about one five eight on there because it finishes at one sixty. The tune after this is at one sixty, so yeah, it's pretty fast. <laughs> but that's the Lab Four influence, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. That uh, spun was um, heavily influenced by. Reformation 2. If you like Reformation 2, think of it when you're listening to um, Spun, the track on there now. Day Hill says, is the donating process straightforward, guy? Never use Kickstarter. Yeah, it, it. yes, it is. Um, and um, if you have any questions about it, and if anybody has any questions about it when it goes live, you can message me. You know, I'll message back straight away and um, let you know. Um, I could even, you know, think about doing a video of someone else, you know, showing you the, the process um you know so yeah i'll i'll i'll, I'll think of a, a good way of, of showing I, I think it's 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 a very well designed kick, uh, website kickstarter it's, it's it's made for simplicity and to help creatives it's not meant to be confusing so yeah. um the only thing that um has to be clarified is that if you want alien on air you literally just have to, have to have to add ha, you literally just have to add 25 pound to your pledge because it simplifies the overall pledge options. You know, if if, if I put it in, if, if, I, if I put Alien on Earth into all the pledge options, then it literally doubles the amount of pledges, so it just keeps it simple. So will it say Alien on Earth on the pledge, or do you just add 25? Just Well, that's the only add-on option now. Okay, cool, So if fine. you if you add £25 to your pledge, I will know that you want the Alien on Earth cool. as well. And even if you want two copies of Alien on Earth, I'll know because it's you know fifty pound extra to what the pledge is. You know, I I get a database of all the pledges, all the options. I I get all the information of what you've done, what you know, what which option you've chose, how much you've you've pledged. So you know, it'll be simple for me to see which you know. And I can always message everyone to you know if I'm if I'm unsure, but I won't be unsure. I'll know exactly what what I'm looking at. <laughs> 
Damien says, would you ever consider venturing into a different style of dance, like a remix of a track in a higher BPM at hardcore or hard style? Um, yeah, definitely. In fact, um, I've got like a track that is in that sort of vein, like a like a like a it's like a hardcore track. Um, I don't know whether I would put it on the album as part of the mixed the mixed bit because it probably wouldn't fit. But um, who knows? Like you know, there might be there might be room for it on the new album. I'll literally just have to see how it fits. If not, I might finish it and just put it as a bonus track on the on the on the DVD and the USB. So. So yeah, that 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 is you know I, I I do I do delve into different and uh, different styles, and I think that this album will give me a little bit more experimentation room for doing things like um, you know like a, a, a hardcore esque track or a hard style esque track. You know, I, I'm thinking probably more like I'd like to do like a psy esque, you know, psy trance esque sort of track, um, sort of. Um, but like, like I say, I'm I, I, I'm not gonna promise anything specific. It literally will be a case of me experimenting, like last time, and seeing what works and what doesn't. So. Oh, Luke's put something nice there, Luke. Hearn, always a pleasure, mate. You've been a staple in my library for many, many years. Keep up the. Thanks, Luke. Work. Really appreciate your support. <laughs> People are talking about your songs of prayers. Oh, I know. It's not the first time that's happened, though. It is on my YouTube, uh, that one. But, yeah, I will do a Donk album <laughs> remix of my favourite hymns from yesteryear <laughs> at some point. I've, I've, I've done a remix of Lord of the Dancing and Donk. You have, yes! Yeah. I'll, have to, I'll, I'll have to um, give it to Amber so you can do something with it. Yeah, I'll <laughs> I literally did it for a mate's wedding. <laughs> like, it's just, they were doing like a gypsy themed wedding, and I did um, the wedding march um, with like all like the the tidy samples <laughs> over the top of it, um, and then I did um, Lord of the Dance and called it Lord of the Donk. <laughs> Shout out to Weefy there. Oh, Anne Marie says you work well together. Cute. Thank you. Thank you. We've been through a lot, <laughs> and we've come out the other side, and it's. Easy now. We get on very well, don't we? Yeah, we do. Yes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, we do. We do. Oh, right. I love it. I'm so happy. I'm really glad that we've done this for you. Is it? Yeah. Is it? Is he? Any more last questions before we sort of finish the the stream? Because we're getting to towards the end of it now. So I'll give you a couple of minutes just to ask anything that you might be unsure of. By the way, if, if you haven't, if you're watching this on like a, a repeat and you haven't had a chance to ask your question, you can message me directly. Um, message me via the Kickstarter um, page um, when it's live. Um, you can leave me feedback on the preview page as well at the moment. Also, um, there will be a, um, a frequently asked questions section on the Kickstarter project where um, I will be typing up all the, the questions that are being asked in this you know in the stream plus any others that i can think of that might be need clarifying um so yeah denzel says amber any toilet selfie compilation in <laughs> yeah i will do a once i've lost my lockdown weight i'll do a uh, a calendar for charity <laughs> at some point of me on the toilet <laughs> Do you want to end that uh, then so you can go crack on with your mix? Yeah, I'm going to do a, re a remix. I'm going to do a, a live stream now. I've not done one So, yeah, we're, while, we're going to so. finish the stream now, um, everyone. Um, so, Amber can get on with um, doing her mix. Um, so, th you, you <laughs> so, thank you all for, for coming and, yes, you know, you and watching and asking your questions and stuff. Um, just to clarify, it should be live by Friday. Check, you know, my, um, my page on Facebook. I'll be sharing the link on there. If not, um, bookmark the link um, that Amber's been sharing in this stream because that link will transfer over to when it's live. You know, it'll transfer over from being a preview page to being a fully live page. So. Just before we go, uh, estimate for uh, delivery is going to be next year, isn't it? Next Christmas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like I said, it's an estimated delivery. It could, um, it's more than likely going to be sooner than that. But I'm just, I'm just learning from last time. I had to delay it by six months because. 
Um, I just needed time to just double check that I liked the tunes that I was putting on the album. So. Would you do a type of event tours uh, when COVID done? Sorry, uh, where's that? With the with the albums from Damien. Again, that we've kind of answered that before. That's all to do with if promoters. If there's a yeah, yeah, interest. like I like um, I'm not really interested in doing an event myself. I'm not interested in you know promoting an event and being involved in an event. But if a promoter wants to um, take the idea of doing like an album tour or something, yeah. then that's fine because it's simpler for me. You know, um, I just get paid for playing there, and then they get the benefits of it being like a, an exclusive show. So. Cool. Well, brilliant. We'll leave it there then, yeah, guys. Yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you for your continued support and love. We really appreciate it, guys. I'll see you all later. Bye.